Welcome back, MTG Joe here, and we are testing for the MIQ, the Mythic Invitational Qualifiers this weekend. I qualified for finishing top 1200 last month, so we are going to be trying to figure out what deck we're going to be playing. I was pretty gung-ho on mono red, but last night I was, I started like 9-0 and went 13-5 in the end, so I wanted to try out a couple decks. This is uh, Chris Botello's uh, Team Returns, so Team Adventure. Uh, deck that he got uh, number one mythic with uh, so credit uh, where credit is due um, so we will try it out but basically what it is is an obosh um, adventures list uh, we've seen iterations of this in the past um, where you're playing all odd uh, converted mana costs you have the adventure package of edge wall brazen borer bone crusher love struck um, you're replacing like the big mana genesis and instead you're playing like kazandu's uh, Goldspan Dragon to get you ahead, uh, some Great Henge for card advantage, and then you have All Runs Epiphany um, to give you extra turn spells and then some creatures. So you kind of make a board and then you take extra turns and just beat down your opponent that way there. Um, you have counter spells in the main in Mystical Dispute and saw it coming as well. So you can kind of bulk your um, foretell spells. Um, I hate how Arena imports the one off, off brand. Uh, Fable Passage. So for our sideboard, sorry about that. Um, we have some Red Cap Malise for Mono Red, another Mystical Dispute versus Control matchup, Phoenix of Ash, Soul Seers. Um, so kind of like Rogues or like the Control matchup, Soul Seer, um, just good creature removal, also gets around Indestructible. Clothis versus uh, Grindier matchups where we need to eat the Graveyard, an Ox versus uh, Rogues. For Elder Gargaros versus the Aggressive decks, this is pretty much a house, can block the Flyers as well. And then a Coma for the Mirror. Um, so I will be playing, uh, leveraging off of Chris's sideboard guide. Um, I can post the link to that as well. Um, he posted it on his Twitter. Um, so I'm like 90, high 90s percent. Let's play some standard ranks, see how this one goes. Saw DZ playing this today, he went 10-0 at one point with it. So we'll give it a shot. If you are catching this as always, if you do enjoy the content, catching this on YouTube, if you can draw a like, drop a like, comment, or subscribe. And if you do want to know when we go live, you can always hit that follow button. Um, this hand here, it's pretty much like, so this is going to be the mirror. I think we keep it. No um, mana on, like all tap lines. Oh, mono red abosh. Okay. So we're probably going to be playing a little bit more of the control matchup early on here. Um, so we're fine trading this off, I think, early. This love struck beast isn't really going to attack for us. Okay. It's fine. Get in for one here. Hmm. I actually want to draw a card off this edge wall, so I'm just going to Kazandu Mammoth here. If they want to play something to trade here, then I'm fine. They could have Frostbite. Notably, they won't have Ember Cleave in this deck, so it's something we don't have to worry about playing around. And now here we're just looking to draw land. Another edge wall is not bad. It means I get to attack with this love struck. Um, this is just like dragon attack. Because that lets us take the extra turn next turn. So they can choose here. That's fine. It wipes out their board. Yeah. Too much power. We are going to take some extra turns after that. So mono red, um, red cat Malian, bring in the Gargaroths, 
let me just double check. Um, Soul Seer, Red Cap, and then take out Mystical Dispute, saw it coming. One gold span and two all runs. Cool. Learning the deck, so we are going to leverage off the resources provided. Um, someone takes time for a deck doing a sideboard guide and they got to number one. Let's uh, follow their expertise. This hand's okay, not great. I think we keep it though. So I'll probably just play out land, we'll brazen borrow or something, and then have the option to cycle. They're gonna have like a lot of haste style threats, so. Jeez. I don't know. Let's wait till they go to combat. Let's see if they stack it in a way that's disadvantageous. Well. Them going triple there doesn't really help us. We can try to get this henge going, but tr triple uh, fervent champion is going to be tough to beat. I'm probably not going to take the block here. Because I can get henge down. So doing this to play around if they had removal. Um, I need another red source here. Two mana henge. And I th think we're just passing the turn here. I need to have a blocker back. We're probably dead. They just had like a very quick start and we didn't really have no notable interaction. So we can see like a pump effect here. They also just had this, which I'm surprised they didn't do. I guess they just want to play that out. So our, our Kazandu dies. I guess I could have held up the Fable to make it a larger creature. Okay, so we have Borrower. Our mana base, it's just like really awkward right now. Let's just see if we draw anything. Um, we're taking four. Really do much. These brazen borrowers aren't great. We needed a Gargaroth somewhere along the lines. Actually, I should have done this pre combat. Yeah, we're 
we're dead. It's fine. We'll just go back. Take game three on the play. Um, they're pretty quick. I think we just play it again. That hand was maybe a little loose. If we drew, like, love struck or anything like that, just something to block. But drawing two brazen borrowers with that hand doesn't do much. Okay, we'll keep this hand. Spike field on one is nice. Notably, this is going to have to be our green source on turn four. Um, oh, we have green here. Let's go blue here. Give us the most options. They don't have a one drop, which is kind of encouraging. Um, I think we're just... Playing this out as green. Say go. They just play out like Bone Crusher Giant. It's a pretty good tempo play for us. It sets them back a full turn. Hey. Okay, so now we want to hit this Gargaroth on curve. So I'm just gonna play Spike Field out. Play out Gargaroth, next turn we could Henge. They could have something like a Cronin War here. But if they can't answer it this turn, then we're in a good spot. Even with a Cronin War, I just bounce it to my hand. No reason there. Um... I think we're just drawing a card here. Play the land out, play henge, bounce this. So it's actually cool is I have enough for the bounce and the irrelevant revelers. So bounce this to hand. They can recast it, but I'm not too worried here. Basically get to take care of their board here. So if I do this, short one so I can drag in I think we still want to get henge down oh no what am I doing do this play henge play dragon
We will draw a card here. So they can double block. I'm fine with this exchange. Again, we just take out their board and then we have lethal dragon next turn. Honestly, we just do this, I think. Can potentially draw us into land. And it gives us a blocker here. Frostbite. That's fine. They can hit us for 6 9 here. That's a whole lot of damage. They might have come close to lethal. Got him. Opponent's deck's actually kind of cool. Goes a bit higher on the curve. You lose, like, the two drops aren't really great in mono red. Like, robber's fine. Uh, losing cleave is quite notable. All right, win on the board. 98%. Playing against Lopi. And it is not very good. Let's hope this is a matchup where Mystical Disputes decent. It is not. Can I get a red source, please? Red source for turn two, so I can stomp something. Three damage secured. That was my red source. Nice. So I'll do this. Um, on their turn. Second robber is kind of annoying. They will hit a card off us. Okay, well. Their mana base means that Frostbite's not live. We're going to have to cut these disputes post-board. Okay, so they are on the Phoenix version. So it gives them some outs. Um, here, I think it's just land... Bone Crusher, so they they have Cleave available. Ooh, it's not nice. It's not nice, opponent. Um, I think we. They have the pump available, so I need to block. Not great. Not great. Slow keep. Good aggressive draw for Mono Red. Was able to get under. It's 
So they have the pump here that'll take them to five, seven. Yeah, we're dead. They have enough to just get through here. So red cap, soul seer, four Edgars, one gold span, two epiphanies, saw coming, disputes. Figure out the game plan. How's everybody doing today? The downsides, Mono Red will get to be on the play, but I think just having four Elder Gargaroths and some more removal. Uh, so close to being good. I think we still keep. Some bad draws here. Take the one here. Deal with it if they have um, robber. for now because we can start doing Kazandus if they want to kill that that's fine I'm not attacking in with this this the, at this point in the game we need to stabilize we'll probably win most games just going over the sky or just going like big with uh, Elder Gargaroths So an Annex Cleave situation could be a bit of an issue. I think we still put the Love Struck in front. But we'll know if they have Cleave because they'll double attack. They could also just have like a Stomp or something. Can I get a Soul Seer or a Great Henge or Elder Gargaroth? Lots of good cards. Okay. If they attack here, I I block with the Kazandu. Okay, Bone Crusher is actually nice here. One more spell out of their hands. I have the Stomp available. I can get rid of the Fervent. I could still cleave here. I think we just do this now. They'll have to pay a bit more mana to cleave if they do have it. Also takes off one pip of power here. Yeah, that's definitely cleave. Well, we can't beat cleave, so I have to play as though they don't have it. I think Annex is the right choice here, it just stays bigger. I 
If I get a Soul Seer or Gargaroth. Does even these now just have incidental chip damage? Yeah. Okay. That's one of the better draws. Ah, I should have made that red. Because I have red cap. That was a mistake. Weren't punished, but... So they hit for 12 here. If they see it, they activate that. I think I'm dead. Because we're getting to the point where even just the Fire Blade Charger is lethal. It's 12, that's 8, 9, 10, yeah, I'm dead. Deads! I kind of like... I think I want like one more piece of cheap removal for that matchup. Because the Brazen Borer is really not great. Coma's fine. Clothis, you have the ox. Because, like, if you. Might have, let's play some more. Because it's kind of tough when you fall behind in that matchup. You don't have access to, like, a sweeper or something. Maybe even. Um, like the Shatter Storm one, the three mana deal two to each creature. Opponent goes first. Let's try this out. If we ever draw an adventure creature. Fabled could be a bunch of different decks. Gruel, maybe. Rakdos. Alrens has a higher potential. Maybe we discard it, but my turn's kind of telegraphed where I'm going Kazandu next turn because it leads us to potential land here. They are incentivized to kill one of these now in case we draw an adventure creature. Can I get a land, please? So for Rakdos, it's probably like Clothis, like Ox, Elder Gargaroth, Clothis, get rid of the counters. Got the Akronan War from us. So I can bounce it back to my hand. I think we do this. Guarantee the line drop. Okay, so this is Rakdos Sack. Fabled Passage would be the best draw, because then I can cast the Henge for two mana.
our hand's just been a bit awkward. We we got all the edge walls without any of the card draw from them. We'll get rid of Epiphany here. It's a bit awkward. So I play out the land here. They force me to discard the Henge. I can play to potentially draw a land. Let's play to our odds. It's most likely... Oh, they have Croxa too. Okay, you know what? Let's go to sideboard. We're not dead this turn, but we're basically dead. They have two active ways to deal with us. So the Clothis come in, and an Ox, and they took out Sot coming, Mystical Dispute, and Spike Field Hazard. Kind of like the Flyers maybe, but they'll have the Sack. Probably got to get some more reps with this deck just to see with the sequencing. This deck naturally have, like our opponent's deck naturally having a bunch of steel effects is going to be well positioned against us. Can we stop drawing all the top end? Jesus. Ha ah, da 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 da. Let's put all our ends back. This game we just draw all five drops. Uh, I guess just drawing lines doesn't hurt. Mana base is a bit awkward right now. Rakdos is going to be a pain for us. So we can play this so like this. Go Goldspan Dragon first if possible. Next turn I'll be Obosh to hand. Probably have a kill spell here. This deck also just like overloads on kill spells post board. So they usually have a harder time against like Blitz Agra. So next turn is just Dragon. a bit annoying because it's going to get um, one outside of the range here. That's actually a good card because we can discard it and then escape it back afterwards. Three cards right now. Four cards, so Crox is getting close here. Clothis would be great. Ah, shit. Well, that's not what we want to see. Tell me they have removal too. Okay, whatever. Next game. They're just going to transform into thing. We'll pick it up, play another game.
Alrin's taking turns isn't really going to do much. You're just a little too dead at that point. Yeah, I think you want like some real removal. The early turns are too much of a problem. You end up with these hands with just like a lot of big stuff. Keep. Another mono red Andy. Ooh. This was actually a card I wanted to test out in mono red. Rimrock's just so bad. So we do have the curve to get the first strike on this is a little awkward. Now eventually getting an all runs is going to be a bit of a problem. Um, I think So they do have enough for three damage to us. Tap lines have been really awkward. Okay, that's actually pretty good. So we're going to protect this turn. We could on combat just bounce this. Set some back a turn. Take some off the treasure. You're not a dwarf. You're a berserker. See what they do in terms of attacks. The, double, the lack of double red is benefiting us right now. And we can set up to have the extra turns with all runs epiphany. So this is probably cleave. So we're going to bounce their cleave. I guess I should have blocked here. I might still bounce this. See what they do. They might have had to pop that. That wasn't enough damage. I should have waited. But like this, I fizzle their turn. I kind of just wanted to protect this Great Henge. That's fine. Um, so here we probably, the way our hand's shaping up, we probably want more blue.
We're just gonna take extra turns after this. Gain a bunch of life that way. Opponents kind of stumbled on mana. It's another interesting card to have in there. It pumps up your Rimrock Knight. So they can trade their board for my Love Struck Beast if they want. Ooh, we just got like counters for days now. So let's foretell here. And then just hold up the option for the Brazen Borrowers. Our life total is pretty high that we can put some pace on them. They might just be boasting here to create a dragon. That's fine. Do this. Do this. GG. And that's why if your opponent's mana screwed, you got to kind of put the pressure on them. So Red Cat Malice, Seers, Gargaroths, um, two Allrins, the Counter Spells, the Sputes, one Gold Span. So the Gold Span goes over the top. You have your cheap interaction there. I'm almost wondering if I want a Clothis in here. I want to try with Clothis. Just the offsetting life gain, if we get into kind of board stall situations, can be useful, I think. They'll probably also bring in stuff like a Cronin War. I'm going to keep this hand. We don't have green, but Triple Bone Crusher seems good. That's our line for the next turn. Attack this before they make the token, the counter. I think if they play like robber, I still take this out. I think we do this just past the turn here. Kill their thing. I want to try to get a card draw. They can't boast this turn, so I think we let them go to combat. Okay, they're just activating Haven. I think I'm comfortable keeping my life total high here. Really wanted a land drop there.
Needed a line drop. Let's just throw out a wall. They Cronin wore this. They need a 1-1. One -one. The gold spans beating. <sighs> Missing the line drop there hurts. And that's free. Turns out you need lands. So I can kind of fog them. I'm going to give them a lot of mana. Hopefully they just activate Faceless. So they get to recast this, but I need to try to get to a point where we can draw some lines. Play out this Gargaroth. Let me block. And was a good keep, but... 22 more lines, 23. There's 27 lines, we haven't hit any. It's kind of advantageous for them to play. Can they just go dragon here? They hit our land. I think here I just want to maximize my chances of hitting another line for this Gargaroth. Tap lines. So that we can get hinged here, or uh, cleaved. Second dragon's probably GG. Show me Gleef. I gotta try Magda. Seems pretty good in the shell. Well, if you ain't drawing lands. So they are on multiple. I don't even know if they're on multiple gold span or. We probably just want our own dragons to block. Get rid of the time walk. Six mana spell versus mono red's not going to give us a chance. All right. Two, three. Try to find something for four. On the play. Took out most of our blue splash. They didn't have robber in their deck. So they've lost a bit of the haste value, but they have a bit more explosion in terms of mana. Also haven't seen the annex out of them. I oh, know we did see Robert. You can die. Um, I think mana efficiency wise, playing this on green, just get this out there. My next turn's going to be this, and then it's going to be Gargaroth. Okay. Good with drawing lands. Because this has first strike, I don't want to like run into a Rimrock Knight situation. 
So I think we just play it safe this turn. There's no sense of trading it away. At least we let them use the mana on their turn. If this didn't have first strike, then I'd attack. I'm fine trading in that case. That's fine. Get frostbite. Okay. Uh, it's a lot of burn that they've just gone through. I think we're just taking the two here. Let's go Noah Cronin War, please. Next turn I can Dragon, make the mana, bring a Bosch to hand. Double up my attackers there. This could be Cleave. I think we're just doing this. If they want to waste their whole turn cleave here, this earlier Gargaroth is going to draw us through a bunch. I want to get at least... Okay. Could also have like another Soul Seer. Most of the time, this is a little unorthodox. They just play one in the side. So they just boast the dragon here. So what we can actually do here, go to full control. Let's draw a card. Bounce that to hand. think again. I'll probably block this turn if they want to boast. They can. And then I'll just make a 3-3. Three, three. Maybe we draw a card. 3-3 three, three threatens their life. Let's draw a card. Another borrow would be good. Dead. Like mega dead. The power of dragons. Yeah, I think going this route over the All Runs Epiphany is probably better. Just being able to uh, punk them out like that. Cool. So I'm going to wrap this one up. Uh, good demo of the deck. Ran into a lot of mono red, so I may want to have one more piece of interaction in the sideboard. But otherwise, appreciate everyone stopping by. Have yourself a great one, and stay safe out there. Thanks for watching.